Okay, we're about to start a series of tests on Omaza gas, and what we have here are steel cans, and uh, uh, our colleague over here has kindly punched some holes through, and in the holes we have placed x-rays, uh, um, self-developing x-rays. Uh, we have a high-speed camera here, hopefully, to capture uh, the uh, effects on various materials as they're exposed to the Omaza gas at uh, high speed. Um, so what we are going to put on here is titanium and um, hopefully we may see uh, in the best case scenario uh, the kind of distribution of elements produced by exploding titanium wires by uh, 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 uh Then we may not see anything with these things but we're going to give it a go. Uh, here we have some indium foil. Uh, then this is a thoriated uh, tungsten rod, and uh, we, this is an alpha emitter, and this is a magnet making a comeback. So after we've done each one, we'll move the high-speed camera to the new uh, device. So we've got some trusty gaffer tape uh, to uh, stick that on there. And uh, we have a vacuum cleaner, which has just left the building. <laughs> it's gone down to the usual, site. Usual. Yeah. And, and uh, we, we've got a filter on the end, and we're going to try and uh, capture the fumes and also capture any detritus that comes off and uh, take a sample of those with us for later analysis. Now, after a particular element has been uh, tested, uh, we are then going to look for uh, uh, beta, beta, alpha, alpha um, for a 10 minute sample. And we also have uh, our trusty Optris here, which will be running 200 to 1500 degrees centigrade to give us an idea of what at least the photon emission temperatures uh, are uh, as far as the bolometer is concerned. Whether they are the real temperatures, I don't know. And uh, we are going to be wearing a gas mask. They've kindly got me some eye protection, which I haven't seen yet, and uh, <laughs> for my eyes. And uh, we might even try and weld this paper clip to this bottle for a bit of fun as well.